Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the EV4 semi recumbent three wheeler. So let me tell you more about it. By the way, also big thanks to EV4 for letting me try out this thing, let me ride it for a bit. It's not a sponsored review, not a affiliate review. I just wanted to show you guys this creature that the EV4 produced. This thing is also produced right here, not really far from Warsaw Center. So it's not made in China, it's made in Poland. And before we maybe also get into the review, I also wanted to tell you guys a bit of like news, wrong way news. Uh, number one, you saw the new logo, Kate's new logo. I think it looks great. And this is also the next step to creating merch. So comment below what kind of merch you would like. I'm thinking of t-shirts obviously on Teespring, but also some other cool gadgets so let me know down below what you would like to see and uh, I've had also a couple of questions about your intro the intro that you see now is just temporary soon there will be a really pro wrong way intro maybe with a new song but the same melody no we'll see we'll see um, so that's that I'm also working on a cool project with EV4 which will be um, EUC related and don't worry it's not another set of the best pads or the best 3D bumper. This will be something completely new that will involve transport. So be on the lookout for that. And soon we're reaching 29,000 subs with just a thousand to go to 30,000 uh, subs. So feel free to subscribe now and like the video at 30,000 subs. If we reach it first before Boss Manati, I will give away a scooter for a random subscriber of the channel. So if you want to win an e-scooter, then just subscribe. So also big thanks to you watching because without you watching, I wouldn't be able to test all these cool, cool things and show them to you and have adventures and potentially also hurt myself during a cutoff. So, <laughs> or, or a hill climb. So uh, with this out of the way, let's get into the EV4 semi-recumbent trike. <laughs> Okay, so we have already covered a trike on this channel, but this is way different than the one uh, we featured earlier. For once, it's way cheaper at around two and a half thousand euro netto, so without tax, and it's also tilting. Now, EV4 is known for their mechanism, their amazing mechanism, which lets you turn with the wheels and also turn with the whole structure, sort of. So if you just um, try to lean this a bit, it's not stable <laughs> like i mean the point is that even though it's a trike it sort of feels like a bike if that makes sense i'll show it to you later when we drive the ev4 semi recumbent and that's also why it has a kickstand <laughs> so um, when it comes to just the specs it has a removable battery in the rear which is pretty enormous when it comes to just uh, sort of legal bikes um, which is 900 watt hours so i believe anywhere between 70 to 100 kilometers of range should be possible and it's also removable as said so it's really convenient to leave the recumbent somewhere and then charge it at home uh, it has also a 500 watt nominal power uh, motor and the recumbent also comes in two versions either this one with 900 watt hours or a bigger version 48 volt version with i believe 1200 watt hours so the bigger version will get you even further and will have way more top speed it has a 30 amp controller so it peaks around i think 1500 watts something around that so so it is pretty torquey and because the wheel is small it's a 20 inch wheel um, it has 
quite a bit of noticeable torque. Now the top speed with the assist is around 30 kilometers an hour, uh, but if you get the 48 volt version this will probably go around 40 maybe even 45 kilometers an hour comes with a 8 amp charger so charging is also pretty quick around uh, two and a half hours for a full charge when it comes to brakes it has a pretty interesting setup the trike i was riding before had a, a right and a left brake but this one has actually just a rear brake and the two front brakes are connected so these are shimano brakes two piston hydraulic in the front and they brake simultaneously and it's way easier to ride this when it comes to just braking than the uh, trike i was riding uh, before and these are also 160 millimeter pretty regular disc brakes oh and here we have the controller <laughs> pretty nice when we take a look at the handlebar you see the brakes here and there are seven gears on the Shimano transmission and if we turn it on you can see the display and it shows you all the necessary parameters uh, of course if you put the key inside the EV4 semi recumbent because yeah it has a key which I really like boom so let's turn it on and here you can see all the modes and you can also limit it to 25 kilometers an hour so you will be safe to go on uh, public roads even though the motor is 500 watts so it's not really legal but if it goes 25 then you know who, who will stop you uh, here we have also a bell and you can also select of course the modes that you have here they're also configurable there's also manual twist throttle which i like but some of you might, guys might not like it so in terms of legal reasons so this might be also not present but i think that the addition of a twist throttle is always good on pas and enabled e-bikes because this has pedal assist so it works just as an e-bike the only thing i'm missing here perhaps is a set of lights because it's always good to have some sort of lights because we have a big battery sort of some position light whatever i think that's the only thing missing on this e-bike and a tail light as well maybe they were thinking it's sort of like a bicycle so you get your own but i think this should be standard on any electric vehicle when it comes to more of the features the seat is adjustable with this clamp and this movable part so actually the seat with the battery moves around which is pretty cool and uh, there's also a front rack so you can mount stuff here and in the rear as well the battery is also connected with a decent plug so it is really safe to charge it take it out and and so on and the battery is also secured with a key it has also rear suspension as we can see here sort of hidden in the rear and in the front we have also probably a single coil yeah single coil here sun tour if you turn you sort of turn with the steering wheel and with leaning at the same time so you're probably thinking why is this even a thing why would you need a three-wheeled semi recumbent bike well number one is semi recumbents are really aerodynamic and they're really comfortable to ride so for longer rides this would be probably more comfortable than a regular seated e-bike from the short ride that i had here sadly i can't take it home i can tell it just that it's really comfortable at, fi at first it feels weird but after a while you get used to it and it's actually really really comfortable and because you have also three wheels um, you're also a bit more stable than just on two wheels and the most important thing here is that the pedals are lower than your upper body so in comparison to other semi recumbents the feet might be higher than your upper body and then your legs might get sore or you have just not enough blood in them now this is the steering column and i think it's a bit close to my taste i would like it maybe a bit further but that's how it is here in terms of just handling it's really fun but you will see it later on when i get to ride this thing i think that the suspension is good enough with these dampers it's not really amazingly comfortable but i think it's okay it's definitely more comfortable than the cargo bike i reviewed for 7000 euro i think it's just a really comfortable bike and most impressively is all of the engineering that goes into these ev4 vehicles they have experience in repairing airplanes and all of these parts are aluminium just for this ev4 semi recumbent which is amazing and here on the other side we can also see a <laughs> pipe this is a pretty common solution if you do a really long chain to the rear wheel so this is also produces like a bit of a whir 
when you ride around but this is really common a cool solution might not look that great but it's it's a good solution so yeah this is the ev4 semi recumbent as you can see people are stopping by just to take a look at it because it's just so amazing and if you want to have a machine which looks different it's also actually really convenient when it comes to drag coefficient and so on and this is pretty cool or maybe one more issue is that you can't really get a backpack here on your back but you can just install it on the rear trunk or the front luggage space all right so let's take this thing out for a spin <laughs> oh my god always when i get here ev4 comes up with something crazy oh boy oh boy oh boy can i even get it out of the front door probably i can't okay this this brings back memories from the other trike i tested <laughs> okay i'm i'm in a weird position right now <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy okay this is definitely a bit maybe it's right what is right what is wrong i have no idea <laughs> I guess I just should start pedaling? Question mark? Because it's... Now it became... I mean, the first... <laughs> What's happening? At first, I felt really weird, but now I feel very comfortable. So, I don't know, maybe I just need to take it out. Okay. Let's get ready. Here goes nothing. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, power! Shit! Oh boy, why does it have it always to be such a weird experience with the strikes? Jesus Christ! Hey, okay, I'm I'm getting it. Whoa! It has power, dude! Like for a bike, I'm I was so bored recently with the cargo bike that this is a welcome power edition. Oh it has also a throttle. Okay, let's get to seventh gear top gear okay so as you can see i'm not only steering this trike with the handlebars but i'm also steering it sort of with my weight so it's a three-wheeler that's sort of rides like a like a bike it's amazing i'm very scared though that i will fall somehow <laughs> but this is a very different experience very very different experience than what I was feeling on the three-wheeler before that didn't have like any sort of mechanism for tilting. Whee! <laughs> Usually I just take these devices out from me before and I right away, you know, tell about something about them and so on, but this is just so interesting. Power! <laughs> but this is fun, dude. So let's try to turn around here. Let's see about the turning radius. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> I think it needs a reverse gear. Woo! Oh, but it's so fun, dude. It's so fun. Let's see how fast we can go. 30. <laughs> 32. You can also just feel a bit of a power. It doesn't come instantly, as you can see. But nonetheless, it's there. Okay, let's take a turn here. Oh, that's fun! Oh, that's fun! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh, but sometimes it can throw you off, off balance. Okay, let's make a right here. Whee! <laughs> it's so fun! Okay, now I wanted to make the usual thing I do with uh, the EV4 um, products. Namely, I want to go like with one wheel on a curb and see if I stay leveled. Let's see. Ooh. Yes, I stay leveled. <laughs> okay, let's make a left now. We'll go bold. Go bold or go home. Nothing coming now. Whee! <laughs> oh boy, these EV4. Okay, let's move here. Let's make a left now. Woo! Oh, I still can't get used to this feeling, but it's actually surprisingly nice to turn on this. Let's try acceleration. Go! 20 30 Go! 1 20 
30. Okay, let's go up the curb here. See how it goes. Whoa. Whoa. It's not easy to drive this, even though it has three wheels. But it's surprisingly comfortable, even, even with like mild off-road terrain. Oh boy. Okay, but it's definitely too wide for this pavement. Oh, let's go off-road here. Now, I, I won't make a hill climb test today, but it seems like it has definitely enough torque for a 15 degree hill. You can also hear the subtle ratcheting sound of the pipe which leads the chain here. Whee! Okay, so in order to conclude the experience of the EV4 semi-recumbent trike, there is a couple of things to note. Like number one, you can definitely get a faster vehicle with more range for the same, same price. But what you can't get is the unique shape, the unique build, the unique engineering that comes into these vehicles and the unique feeling. Now, you know, I love EUCs, but I know that not all of you guys love them. Uh, although you should, but it's really amazing to just experience something different from time to time. And I think that with such a special build and a, you know, purpose made chassis and design, this vehicle is actually worth its money. So if you find a use for it, if you really, really like recumbent bikes or you need additional luggage space, front or rear, or there's other reasons for which you might like this vehicle, then it's absolutely up to you to get one of those or not. Like when it comes to the downsides, mostly it's the width. So it's rather wide, it's I think 70 or 80 centimeters wide, so wider than, wider than a usual bike. But compared to other three wheelers, it's actually really narrow. And even though it's narrow, it's stable and you can turn on it because of the leaning mechanism. And there's also plenty of room for pedaling. And naturally you saw that the turning radius is rather ginormous. It's also a bit heavier naturally because of the all, all of the mechanisms. I think it's around 40 kilograms or so. But you know, that's what comes with a unique build like this. The biggest upside is I think the riding feeling, still a big battery for the price because you have to still know that there are e-bikes that have two wheels, which costs like twice as much. And the removal battery is a, is a bonus, the torque in my opinion as well. And also the additional traction and safety you get from just having three wheels and naturally the super comfortable position behind the handlebar. Oh, and maybe one more downside is that the handlebar is really close to your face. So I don't know what happens if there will be like a crash or something. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.